this is amazing. Now we're going to see about Search XNG. It is a free search engine where users are not tracked or profiled. You can run locally. As you can see here, it's running locally on my computer. You can integrate this with AI applications. You can aggregate results from multiple search services. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Search XNG. This is like Google search engine, but running locally on your computer. So when I type Cloud Zone 3.5, it is giving me this result. And this is the user interface, but you are able to integrate this API with any AI applications. So for example, Perplexica, the AI search engine, uses Search XNG. In this, I'm going to take you through step by step how you can install this locally on your computer and how you can integrate this with AI application. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Here is a GitHub repo. As you can see here, Sear XNG is a free internet meta search engine which aggregates results from various search services and databases. Users are neither be tracked nor profiled. You are able to install using Docker image. You are able to install using scripts. But in this, we are going to see how you can install using Docker image. Make sure you've downloaded Docker and install that in your computer. Next, in your terminal, git clone github.com slash crxng slash crxng and then click enter. Next, navigate to the crxng folder. Now open this in any code editor, such as VS Code. Now I have opened that in VS Code editor. So here when you see, there is crx folder. So click on that. There you'll have settings.yaml. Click on that. Then in that file, if you come down, there is something called search. So under search, you will have formats. So I'm going to allow JSON format. So this is required if you want to integrate this search engine with any application and then click save, and then you can close this file. So this mainly consists of three different steps. First is to change settings that we have done. Now we need to build the Docker image and finally run Docker image. So step number two, building the Docker image. So in our terminal, type make docker.build and then click enter. This will automatically build the required Docker image. So when you type docker image ls and then click enter, there you'll be able to see Sear XNG with the latest version and it got updated six seconds ago. So now we are ready to run it. So step number three, run Docker image. So in your terminal, Docker run and then this command. So here I'm using port number 32768. This you can change based on what you want to. It could be 8080, it could be 8000 or 3000. But the reason why I am using 32768 is because this is the port number which Perplexica is using. So you can easily integrate this with Perplexica if you want to. So after that, just provide all this information. I will put all that in the description below. Then click enter. Now you can see it started running. Now I can type docker ps and here you can see the Sear XNG is running and this is the link. So I can just copy this. So instead of 000, I can add localhost. So both are the same in this context and then click enter. Then you will automatically get the search XNG. Now here you can search for any, maybe open AI and then it can provide you the results about OpenAI. Now we have the user interface, but the way we integrate this with any other application, for example, let's say Perplexica. I've already covered how to install Perplexica, a free AI search engine run it on your computer, which I will link that in the description below. So here you can see the Sear XNG is linked to this URL and it's running in port number 32768. So this is how you integrate Sear XNG with Perplexica. So if you're using Docker in Perplexica, automatically this is taken care of. But if you want to run it manually, then this is how it works. Now you successfully install your Sear XNG on your computer and it's ready to be integrated with any AI application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.